Welcome back to our channel. As you can see, today we have two movie chicks, both of us. <laughs> yes, it's not just me today doing um, reviews. <laughs> mm -hmm. So today we are doing a Q&A video. Thanks for sending in your questions, everything you wanted to know about us. We will try our best to answer all of them. Um, and we won't make this video too long. So first question, where do we live? Go ahead. We live in St. Louis, Missouri. Yes, so. St. Louis, born and raised, been here all of our life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next question, how many kids or pets do we have? Don't have any kids. No kids, we have one pet, we have a cat, a little black cat. Um, she was in our story the other day. So if you guys saw that, then that's our kid. <laughs> All right, third question. Is YouTube difficult? I would say yeah. I would definitely say yeah. It's a lot of time involved, um, a lot of editing. You have to be your own marketing, like everything you do yeah. until you get big enough to where you can like contract other people. Exactly. You have to do it yourself. So with me and our channel, uh, she basically handles the marketing side. I handle the visual aspects. I'm of the it. one you guys are talking to when you leave comments yeah. and like when we re you guys reach out to me. Mm -hmm. It's normally me that you're talking to. Mm -hmm. I may chime in there sometime, like if it's like a direct makeup question, but most of the time I'm yet to her. Yeah. Um, but I do like the editing of the videos, um, the like, I don't know, flyers, the um, story, I do a lot of that. Um, so it's, it's just a lot of, that goes into it, a lot of time. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the time, it's gonna be kind of hard and difficult because like all of those subscribers, you have to go out and get them. You guys have to network. <laughs> exactly, hard. and like the hardest thing to me is like, well, it's not hard as in the sense of I don't know how, but the hardest thing is like networking and reaching out to people because sometimes people just aren't willing to, you know, be open to, you know, subscribing or meeting new people or maybe they, and then a lot of times I think people use the smaller channels to try and grow their channel. So they'll subscribe you, follow you, leave all these comments. And then like two days later, they unfollow, unsubscribe. So it's just like, you have to deal with that too. So. All right, next question. Does looking at yourself on camera make you insecure? <laughs> oh, That's a good question. That a good question. That's a really good question. Um, no, not really. I haven't encountered that yet because I'm pretty thick skinny, but I got, anytime somebody got something to say about me, I can easily come after you just as hard, if not harder. And uh, back in the day, all I used to do was Joan, right? So I'd be ready with the shits for real. Um, you can't say shit. Well, I'll be back. Okay. But <laughs> I'll be ready with it, though, for real. So if somebody got something to say, then we can go at it. But I haven't had any problems with that, being insecure or anything like that. I don't have a problem with how I look or anything. Um, for me, no, I don't, I don't think it makes me insecure. I think it makes me more, like, self-aware. Like, it's like you, you notice little quirks about yourself that you didn't notice at first. So you're like, oh, I didn't know. When I talk, I do this or I do that. So, no, it doesn't make me insecure, but it does make you more self-aware. So that way, like the next time you film a video, you kind of look and like, oh, let me make sure I don't do this. Let me make sure I don't do that. So, not insecure, but you just become self-aware of what you do and like how you move and things like that. Next one. How long have we done hair and makeup? You go first. <laughs> I started a little bit after high school, so maybe around the 10 or 11 year mark for me um i think i started with just doing the wing first yeah <laughs> so when i got out the big thing was like the white eyeliner and the little wing that people was doing that's the only thing they was doing back in 07 mm -hmm. so that's what i would do <laughs> and then brows came into play so i went to learn how to do that and then it just basically went from there like whatever the trend was it just blew out further and further to where like literally everybody started doing their makeup so I've been practicing for like close to 10 years now, maybe a little bit over. For me, I don't know how to do hair. I, like, okay, what I'm about to say, black girls, please don't. 
I do not know how to French braid. I don't know how to braid. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm like in some secret society of the black women that do not know how to French braid. I have never learned. I never wanted to learn. <laughs> like, my mom taught her when she could barely talk how to braid. And she tried to show me and I kind of wandered off and was doing, you know, whatever. So, I don't do hair at all. But I can put a wig on and make it look nice. I can make it look decent. I, You know, I can do a, a mean weave ponytail. But, like, braids and styles and stuff like that. No, I, I don't do hair. Um, but I do nails. And I've been doing nails since 2009. Not professionally. The noise in the background is my cat playing with her food bowl, by the way. <laughs> but um, I don't do nails professionally. But I've been, like doing my own nails since 2009 these are my real nails with a gel overlay so um that's it for me that no hair and makeup i know how to do makeup a little bit like i can make it look like something but that's not my thing for real <laughs> okay why we reviews funny story <laughs> When we started this channel, we did not start this channel to be a wig review not channel. All. Not at all. <laughs> we are not a wig review channel. <laughs> like, for whatever reason, it was like a spur of the minute thing. Like, I had this really nice wig. It's the first wig review. Go watch it with the ombre color wig. And I said, you know what? Since I have this wig and it's really nice and people are asking me about it, let's do a video on it. So that video ended up just pulling crazy numbers like right off the bat. And I'm like, so people want to see wig reviews on this channel? <laughs> so that's kind of how that got started. But we will be doing a lot more than just wig reviews. We'll still do them because like companies are reaching out to us and things. And that's opening more opportunities and more doors. But um, we did not start this channel as a wig review channel. So it just kind of fell into our lap. And it's been doing well for us but it's it's not our thing <laughs> so, okay why did we start youtube well it was more so how i did she really wanted to start more so than me so i yes. guess i let her start i wanted to start youtube since we were in college like back in 2000 nine when I first started college and I didn't know what YouTube was my sister told me about YouTube and the first YouTube channel we really watched was you love me Hicks <laughs> that's how long it's been yeah. like and I was like oh my god like you can sit in front of a camera and do your eyebrows and people actually want to watch yeah people want to watch it so <laughs> I was like man that seems interesting but back then we like I wasn't shy, shy, but I was like so kind of like reserved and did not like putting myself out there at all. So I was like, I would love to do YouTube, but I, I didn't have the guts to do it. I did, I wanted to, but we didn't have the time. We were like full-time college students and trying to work and everything. And then on top of that, just, you know, not having the guts to go out there and do it. So, yeah. And at the time I was like being into like hair growth. That's when like her journeys was first coming into play and everybody started oh the goodness. relaxed journeys first. So everybody's like, oh, if I cut my ends, if I put oils on them. So I was like just big into just like researching. And so it kind of went like to every aspect of my life. Like people start making videos about everything. So then it went to natural hair journeys and then makeup. So it just became one thing after another. Like you just saw YouTube growing. So it's kind of. And that like back when we started watching YouTube like around the time it first came out like if you made money <coughs> off of YouTube like Atia like some of you guys might not even know who I'm talking about yeah. right now Atia she was like the first one to capitalize and realize what a big you know business opportunity YouTube was people gave her so much flack yes, for they it hated they too. hated her because she made money off of this platform and now that's the main reason people join it is to make money so mm -hmm. we actually started this channel because we want to reach out and see, you know, what's, who else is out there and, you know, meet like-minded people, meet people like us that are interested yeah. in what we're interested in. Um, Cause and really networking. Louis, you don't really get a lot of support from people closest to you. Uh, I don't know. It's just something with the city. Like, they just don't support St. you. St. Louis is very competitive. Yeah. And it's a very crabs-in-the-barrel mentality. So, like, the 
people that give you the most support are people that don't know you in St. Louis. Like, if you have St. Louis supporters, normally it's people that really don't know you. Um, the people that do, they're trying to, you know, get themselves put on. So they really... It's a lot of clout chasing, I'm yeah. going to say. I'm not going to sit around and read around the bush on this. Like, it's a lot of clout chasing going on. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to mess with people with a name. They feel like, oh, if you can't benefit me in no type of way, I ain't messing with you. So we kind of, like, want to go past that and surpass that whole just St. Louis mindset. Like, we want to get outside of St. Louis. So YouTube is definitely a way that you can do that, too. Yeah. And the people that we've met have just been amazing. Like, I've met so many people from all over, and it's, like, a totally different vibe. So, yeah. <laughs> you know. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, are we content creators or is it for fun? <laughs> now, I don't know if that was shade with that comment. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. But, I mean, obviously, we're content creators. Like, you know, we have um, a decent number of subscribers. You know, we make videos. Our videos get decent numbers. So, it's like, we're not... We're doing it for, of course, you know, anything you do, you should enjoy it. Yes, it's fun, but yes, we're content creators. Like, mm -hmm. we have companies reaching out to us, wanting to do opportunities and business ventures and things like that because we are content creators and we do take our channel seriously. But if we make it look fun, then we're doing our job. Like, if this looks easy to you guys, if it looks fun then and bottom line is all you gotta do is click the link in the bio and you'll see what we do yeah we both have a skill set that it takes a long time or it takes practice to get it's not nothing where oh they just resting on their look so they just resting on this no like i actually do makeup which is a skill that is not easily learned she do nails mm -hmm. this stuff you can't learn overnight so we definitely have a skill set to be content creators it's not just we yeah. just out here bs no that's <laughs> not what it's about not at all not at all okay last one and it's gonna be kind of like a, we already answered this one but we'll answer it again do our friends and family support and know know about the channel so do they support us and do they know about the channel you take it and i'll go after that i say yes and no i yeah. mean a lot of people on my page know about my channel but i don't know if they watch but i have shared it with my personal instagram page so i do know that it's out there but Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they watch or not or support. I'm just not sure. <laughs> uh, family, some people know. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely want to say all of them. Very few because we have a huge family. Yeah. And I would say like 80% have no clue. They yeah. have no clue what we do. <laughs> the closest to people uh, to us, they do. Yeah. And they support. So. Exactly. What about um, like friends, like close friends? Do you think they know and support? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, they don't vocalize the support. Like, this is, this is the thing that like, we're talking about, like, in St. Louis. Like, they could be watching every video, but do they leave, like, comments or do they, um, you know, tell us, like, we talk on the phone or, you know, or hang out? No, they don't mention it. So, I don't know if it's because it's, because I told them, like, I didn't want to tell them at first because it's weird to say, you know, oh, we do YouTube yeah. and you're looking at us on camera and then later on, you know, we're hanging out. It's like, oh, is that the wig you bought? <laughs> you know, I did the review. So it's like they don't mention it, but it just don't get brought up much. So it's like yeah. really no way of really gauging how much they support yet. I exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I think they've subscribed, obviously, yeah. but like, and I and I honestly don't know how I would feel if they left comments under every video like, oh, I like that or this, this and that. Like, you know, but they. To answer the question, most of our friends and family don't know. The ones that do know, they support, but just like a, a silent support. Like, and um, when we see people and they're like, okay, when is another video coming? Yeah. You guys are slacking. Yeah. So they do push us, <laughs> yeah. but they do it in like the way that I would prefer them to do it. Just, you know. Yeah, it's not awkward enough. Yeah, that way. it's not so awkward. When if they do support, them. it's not like we like know, like if they watching all our videos. Exactly. Because it's just not brought up that way. But, right. Um, but we do get a decent number of views and subscribers, so I'm guessing, yes, we do have some. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, obviously, they're out there watching it and viewing it because, you know, of the numbers and things like that. But we don't talk about it. It's not, I don't sit there and call them and say, hey, girl, I uploaded a video. Go watch it. Like, it's just like if they see it, they see it. If they don't, then, you know, it's not talked about. But, um, yeah, thanks again, guys, for sending in questions and asking us 
whatever you wanted to know. Um, in case if you didn't know, I'm the younger sister. She's the older sister. By two years, I like to say 23 months. Two years. Because it is a point in time where we're only one year apart. Uh, two years. <laughs> From October 11th to November 4th. We are a year apart. And I promise I got more makeup videos coming. I'm just trying to figure out a good setup for that. Yeah. I have some looks. Some looks. looks. Um, I just did a lime green look on my page. Um, so check that out. Yeah. It's slime season apparently. <laughs> I had no clue. <laughs> no clue. That's why I did these. She told me it's slime season. It is. Everybody wearing them so. neons and them greens. So. <laughs> but, um. Oh, look. <laughs> look how bad she is. Look at her. Yes, she is. Baby. Look, look, look at the camera. Oh, she's looking. That is my twin. Like, I birthed her, like, in case of you guys don't know. So. <laughs> but, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And stay tuned. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, the number two, Moody Chicks, C-H-I-C-S. Um, subscribe on YouTube, leave comments, we'll get back to you guys. And we truly and genuinely appreciate all the love and support that you guys have shown us. You guys have made this look so easy to where people think like that it is easy. It is, but it's not, you know, and we truly, genuinely appreciate each and every one of you guys. And you guys know the ones that support us, we're supportive back. So stay tuned. <laughs>